this is the question that we should be debating. Most of the time in education, we don't debate this question. Most of the time, we debate how or what schools should be organized around or uh, the length of the day or the nature of the curriculum, but we very rarely discuss this. What is it for? What's the purpose of learning? One uh, way of thinking about what learning is for is to think about what kind of world we're trying to prepare young people for and how they are going to live successfully in it. Whatever that word successfully means, how are they going to flourish in it, to do good work, to make a difference, to live well with other people in a broad sense. I don't mean how to get a new job or how to earn more, I mean to live successfully in a, in a broader sense. This line is the line of the taxi cab in London, the line of the black cab which is coming along and it's developed its knowledge and then suddenly out of nowhere comes this thing called Uber which disrupts and changes how they work in unforeseen, unpredictable ways. And so there are more and more places in our world where you get this conflict between these new and emerging forces, often enabled by technology, which threaten to disrupt, disrupt and unsettle established institutions. What we need to try and encourage young people to see is that the future is open. It's there to be made. It's there to be understood, if you like, to see it from the future is to see that there are multiple possibilities. Machines will become increasingly intelligent, capable of rapid learning, and that any job which relies on the application of a set of rules will in future be vulnerable to people with an algorithm to do it. Anything that can be routinized may in future be done possibly by a system or a robot, and the human role may be reduced. The whole point of education is not to prepare people to become better workers with industrial systems. The whole point is to make us more human, more empathetic, more creative, more collaborative, more imaginative, more metaphorical, to do all the things that Google can't do, put it that way. We should do in education, schools should be places that Google cannot reach and cannot program, and cannot predict, because actually they're places of such imagination and metaphor and creativity and empathy and feeling that no one in Silicon Valley would have the slightest idea what was happening there because it wouldn't fit the program. The kind of knowledge and attitude towards knowledge that we need for this world of the, the circle is we're going to need children to be able to question and to challenge and to debate, not just to digest knowledge. They all need to know how to combine knowledge from different disciplines together creatively. And they're critically going to have to know how to take knowledge from one setting and apply it to another setting, or to understand the underlying principles so they can extract those and apply them in a different way somewhere else. And that basically you should go to school to make things. You should go to school to make great work with other people. And that might be a play, it might be a piece of art, it might be a software program or a game, but you go to make things with other people. And through this process of making, you learn how to contribute. Coming to school and education should be a personal thing. It should be about personal growth, about the acquisition of personal attributes, particularly of resilience, grit, and purpose. Because if you're going to be resilient and in this fluctuating world, and if you're going to cut through that, you need to have a sense of purpose. If you have no sense of purpose, you'll just be buffeted from side to side. Complex problems usually are too complex for any single individual. So if you're tackling a complex problem, you need to share ideas with other people. And that means you need the social skills to be able to collaborate with other people. People all around the world who are now developing new approaches to measuring resilience, collaboration, entrepreneurship, creativity, 
and finding ways to be able to say to parents and politicians, we can do this without it being a risk, without it just being an experiment. We can find ways of doing it in a more structured way.